Hello everyone, Risky Toothpick here, back again with something new, and we're gonna jump into the Dead Space remake. Because, you know, this is one of my favorite horror games of all time. Of course, this is not blind, I guess semi-blind, just in case they put something new. This is kind of different. I think it's me. Oh, I wish I could talk to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything. I just wish I could talk to someone. It's all falling apart here. I can't believe what's happening. Strange. Such a little thing. That's her? Nicole? Yeah. First I've heard from her in weeks. We're five minutes out, you still got that thing on repeat? Guess you really miss her. Bishamer is not a job you turn down, but six months apart with only vid calls? It's rough. Easy to say the wrong thing. I don't blame you. I'd listen to my girlfriend over Hammond reciting security protocols. Forewarned is forearmed, Miss Daniels. So you keep saying. Here we go. Nice clean re entry. Maybe just seven. Imagine six months staring at that chunk of rock. To an independent miner, that's paradise. Aegis 7 is one of the richest finds in CEC history. Some prospecting team set up for life. Now, where is she? There. Confirming visual contact with USG Ishimura. What a beauty. Biggest planet cracker in her class, you know. And it looks like they already popped the cork. Why is it so dark? We should be able to see her running lights. Yeah. I'll get us into hailing range. Someone's got to be waiting up for us. Just be careful on the approach. I'm not taking any chances with the CEC's pride and joy. No chances, huh? Is that why you were digging into my personnel files before we left? You track your file access? I'm a computer analyst. It comes with a job. I ran standard CEC background checks, Miss Daniels. If you want to work in the big leagues, you have to play ball. <coughs> Sir, we're in hailing range. USG Ishimura, this is the emergency maintenance team of the USG Kelly, responding to your distress call. Come in, Ishimura. Ishimura, do you copy? Come in. This is the USG Kelly. You ever hear of a full communications blackout on one of these things? Never. Come on. Someone pick up the damn phone. The hell is that? Sounds like their communication array is busted. Maybe a broken encoder. Daniels and I can handle it in 48 hours, max. Hey, that gives you plenty of time to catch up with Nicole. Yeah, I hope so. Jen, Johnson, take us in. Gravity tethers engaged. Automated docking. Let's go. We're losing control. What? Daniel! Guidance system override isn't responding. Shit, shit, we're coming in too hot. It's gonna smash us into the hall. Jen, aim for that emergency stabilizer. There, the blue light. It might slow us down. Got it. Drop the flash shield. Everyone break yourself. Oh, Good call on the stabilizer, Isaac. That I always read the manual. What the fuck's going on with flight control? That guidance system's a death trap. Better add it to your repair list. Jen, what's our damage? Calms her down. We lost a poor booster. We've got a fire in one of the stabilizers and... Singularity cores of mess. Could be worse, but not by much. Then let's get some help. Johnston, stay with the Kellyan. We'll send a medic. Everyone else, with me. The intro's so different. Which is cool. They butchered Nicole and Isaac a little bit, I think. 
But at least they made them look like real people. New arrivals. Once I gotta remember all this. Honestly, it's time to pick everything up. We'll go back to these later. Honestly, they're just running off without us here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Always in a rush. Man, the lighting in this game. And I did get the deluxe edition, so we're going to have some uh, costumes or the armor. We're going to have different outfits, so should look pretty cool. Oh, yeah, look at that ship. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm, like, trying to figure out how to run. <laughs> it's not working out. And you don't want to have nothing to do with this planet. Okay, let me in. Can't read security. Same for the chief engineer. What is wrong with their comms? Man, every little thing they've added just a little bit just to kind of freshen it up. Another text log we can read. Where's the security detail? Where's anybody? There's nothing bought. No duty roster. No power to the elevator. For God's sake. That security console is still working. Isaac, get a damage report. I'm done playing around. Alrighty, yep. We got the locator. Pretty cool. What we're probably going to do is we're going to read the text logs at the end of the video. There's something on the floor here. Seth? I... It's on the floor. Is that blood right there? That might be a little blood. All right, let's go start this uh, report. Oh God, that smell! What have you got, Isaac? Shit! It's not just comms with the guidance system. Half the Ishimura's in the red. Engines, hull, the trams. You could do that kind of damage to a planet cracker. Up. Power to the elevator should be. Hazardous anomaly detected. Quarantine activated. Another malfunction? No. The quarantine systems are all fine. Oh, wait. Do you hear that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I hear it. Yeah, man. Take it easy. Daniels, get those elevators running. There's something in here with us. Up there! <laughs> Man, look at those things. Yep, time to run away from these guys. Yep, here we go. I remember this part.
Is one of them gonna open up? Yeah. Wasn't that beautiful? Look at all that blood. Ooh, we actually look pretty good. We got the like yellowish brown. Cut off their limbs. Strongest gun in the game, right here, plasma cutter. Alrighty. A fire to reload his axe. Not bad. Let's say, give us those bullets and credits. Alright, how do we smack this? R2 to foot stomp. Alrighty. We might need to backhand somebody sometime. Finally get our lights. Uh, how do we... There's a way to switch it, right? There we go. Oh my. First shot's a miss. Feel a little bit stronger. I say we gotta make sure to stomp on everything. Sorry, buddy, we're gonna stomp on you too. Alright, let's go down here and check it out. Yeah, he's on the run. Freaking love this game. The atmosphere is even better. What's this? Security request retrieved. It didn't die. We shot that fucker right between the eyes and it didn't die. Smith had to shoot its fucking arms and legs off. For God's sake, send help. Cool. Yep, that's how we use the med pack. What else we got here? Nothing too crazy. And some things we can read later on. Isaac. Oh my god, Isaac. You made it. Just. They're everywhere. Shen, is he, uh... He's gone. Nothing I can do. What the fuck are these things? The ones I saw, some of them were wearing Ishimura uniforms. They're the crew? How the hell can they be the crew? Look at them. We need to get to the bridge. There's a thousand people on board. Someone will be there. We can't. The tram system's wrecked. Everything's locked down because of the quarantine. And you're both repair techs. So how do we do this? There's a broken tram car blocking the tunnel. It's gridlocked the system. And the data board's burned out. I can't lift the lockdown or call the tram until we get a spare from the maintenance bay. But it's all on Isaac's side of a quarantine. I'll handle it. Just make sure there's power to the repair systems. And Isaac? Yeah? I'm sure Nicole's okay. She's the doctor, right? She'll do the smart thing. Yeah. Yeah, she always does. Find somewhere safe. I'll be back soon. Alrighty, get the tram running. Oh, that's pretty neat. Okay, so first off, we do our first save of the game. Because we're cool like that. And then we go exploring. Give me all the goodies here. 
Okay, that's the tram tunnel, and that is the cargo. Wants us to go that way. I mean, we can check this out. I think this might be a dead end. Ooh. Oh, you know this is dangerous. Yeah, all about, you know, conserving ammunition by going after the limbs. He is more than likely alive. I'll say, don't even mess with me. All right, there's a circuit breaker here. Oh, so you can only do one at a time. Okay. Ooh, there's another one. Oh, he's coming. If I remember correctly, he, like, drops down from behind. Let's see, let's go after some goodies here. Oh, shit. I mean, are you going to come in or not? He's just here to spook us, apparently. We get our node. Anything else? All right, let's get maintenance bay going. This isn't the way we're supposed to go. But I think we have to go over here regardless. So we'll come back. At least we got that power node. What is going? Oh yeah, the door. I remember that. This looks a little different. What is this? Security clearance. Interesting. Okay, he doesn't drop anything, unfortunately. Say, give me that stasis module. Why? LT and Y. Okay, well, thanks for not smashing me. Okay, just why use a stasis pack? Wants us to go that way, so that's the last place we go. We gotta do that exploration. Where's the bathrooms? I know there's bathrooms down here. Oh, look at all that. Very strange. All right, but yeah, let's check out the bathroom. Found. Found blank inside the vents. Found a man. What is this? Uh. 
bring the others. Some credits. Yeah, just give me all the money. We need to buy some upgrades. Oh, I feel sorry for that guy. Wrong button. <laughs> we'll smack him. Uh, well, you know, stasis is good. Don't have to worry about it taking up our inventory. Okay, we, we want to smack this. How are we on uh, ammo? Eh, decent. Isaac, don't bother shooting those fuckers in the head. Doesn't even slow them down. Okay. The only way is hacking them apart. Those arms, their legs. Does that even kill them? Or do they just stop moving? What is this? An audio log. Message retrieved. Benson to engineering. You got a stasis module handy? We need one in tram maintenance stat. The autoloader's fried. I got a damaged tram car on the tracks, and if the whole system's gridlocked, guess who they're calling? Temple here, sending a stasis module now. What happened to the autoloader? No idea. A lot of shit's been breaking down. I keep hearing things. Down in the gears where, where no one can be. No? I know. Mm-mm-mm. People are already going crazy. All right, let's make sure there's nothing of value. It's very dark in the game, though. Okay, this is the one I think that's, like, all messed up. Prepare systems online. Loading system reinitialized. Warning. Autoloader malfunction. Please contact a repair technician. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna get attacked here. Get to the other one. We'll get this one going. Get that going. Uh oh. Oh, yep. One right there. We missed. He missed us. Damn, that guy is just being so aggressive. Wrong button. Smack him. We took a little bit of damage there. And we got the tram thing going. Oh, here comes another one. Might be one behind us. Oh yeah, here he comes. I was say, I was wondering where you were. All right, time to go to maintenance. Well, that was decent. Oh, actually, you know what? Get our stasis all the way up. I'm hearing things. Let's use a small health pack. What's the point of holding on to them if you're not going to use them? Oh, look at him. Aren't you a beauty? We've already... No. We'll come back here later, though, I believe. Fix the door, kinda. Alright, someone I think is gonna come attack us here. If I remember correctly.
Yeah, stasis for the win. Is there something else there? Nope, just seeing things. So now we gotta go back to that one room. Let's see if that guy's gonna come out of the vents this time. He's probably gonna wait until we come back, maybe? Oh yeah, I remember this room. It's gonna be a lot of enemies in here. Should have a guy, I think, coming from behind. A lot of times they like to do that. Let's say they like to sneak up on you. Use the vents to their advantage. I actually got pretty lucky there. I could have accidentally like blew up the thing. Where you at? I'll say we'll just shoot that. And I think we're good. Let's check over here for any good items. A lot of ammo. Credits. Give me some more of the ammo. I know there's like a, an alternate low location here that gives you another power node. We're probably going to try to open up that. Man, that guy took a lot. Of course we took damage. Somehow we did not die from that stomp. Don't know how that works. Alright, no power. You know some enemies are going to come out of that vent right there. Okay, how do we get the power going? I guess it's upstairs. I was say, I have played Dead Space, but it's been a little while. You know, this guy looks very suspicious right here. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. I believe you now. I'm saying, unless he allowed for a whole limb to be shot off with no problem. I still don't trust him, though. Oh, no. This guy looks like he's alive. Okay. Smack him. Smack him. Give me the credits. What are you powering on here? Another text log we can read later. O 
Okay, I think that's what we needed to do. I don't think we're gonna like it. Man, they're gonna sneak up on us. I was say, I know I heard someone close. Oh, here comes another one. I know they're going to try to spawn in behind us. In this game, they're all about trying to spawn in. Go back downstairs. They, they, you know, with the advancement and all that with video games, they've really incorporated the, the lighting and the void of lighting to make their games even creepier. I must say, I probably unloaded a few more bullets than what were needed. Oh, here we go. Oh, he's still alive. Heard someone? Where are you? Okay, you're coming. Maybe? Tore him up. Okay, we can actually go this way. I don't think we went this way. At least I don't remember going this way, but it's very dark. Well, we killed a few enemies here, so. That's all I needed to know. I'll say, let me in. Okay, there's a upgrade bench. Another text log. The data board which we need. We're going to level up before we do that. Alrighty, upgrade weapons and rig using the bench. Yeah, we should already know how to do this. Uh, what do we want though? HP air stasis zone, stasis duration. Interesting. Plasma cutter. Yeah, we want the plasma cutter. And we're going to go capacity. That's all right. We go with the big boy. The plasma cutter does not mess around. Isaac, we can't stay here much longer. Hearing a lot of movement. Hold on. I got the data board. I'm coming back to tram control now. Daniel, get ready to go. Okay, took care of him. I say I know there's more. Okay, I hear a guy to our right. Yeah, he's running. I could have sworn some guy like sneaks up behind you, but must be going crazy. All right, let's get out of here. I don't think we missed anything. If we did, then that door is hidden.
And the guy took it. But we made it back. Turn in the module. Data board reinstalled. System restart complete. And call the tram. Maintenance complete. Calling tram. It's clear. Now arriving at flight deck tram control. And they're just gonna leave us here. That's how the game be. Goodbye. We're on board. Something hit the roof, but it seems operational. Quarantine lockdown is lifted, so you can get to the hangar. Comms are still down though, so be ready for anything. What's the plan? You and Johnston fix up the Kelly. We report to the bridge. Standard emergency protocol. What protocol? Hammond, people are dying here. And I'm not losing anyone else. We stick to procedure. We'll get through this. We'll see. Alrighty, so time to go back. Ooh. But you know, we already passed the 30 minute mark, so we're gonna stop here today. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Check out the links below. I am going to go through the uh, all the text logs, so if you don't wanna watch that, just go to the next one. Because it's going to be a little boring. I'm just going to say it now. Alrighty. So. Where do we start? I guess we can start from the top. So the background request. Per your request, here's what we could find on the specialist they've sent for the repair mission. Isaac Clark. Isaac was born to Paul and Octavia Clark on Earth in the eastern seaboard region of the American Republic. Paul Clark was an award-winning ship architect employed by the Galactic Union Merchant Marine Corp. His records show extended time off-world away from his family. When Isaac was born, Paul was given a temporary reassignment to an Earth-based GUMMC ship production facility. During the four-year tour, Paul and Octavia raised Isaac together. When the tour was over, Paul shipped off for an extended off-world tour. Paul's influence on his son must have rubbed off. Records indicate Isaac pursued studies in mechanical and electrical engineering and achieved high honors. According to medical and psychiatric reports, Paul Clark's absence had a profound effect on Octavia. She suffered from depression and personal anguish until doctors encouraged her to find fulfillment by working with charitable organizations. It is believed that this is how she ended up coming in contact with the Church of Unitology. Ooh, I didn't know his mom was involved in unitology. At first, her association with the church appeared to alleviate her mental condition. The cancellation of her therapy sessions corresponds with the local parish announcements of her initiation ceremony. There are indications that she sold off much of the family's estate to finance full membership in the church and the soul cleanse they required to enter the higher ranks. Isaac appears to have been selected to a prominent engineering school, but we surmise that we, he was unable to afford the tuition as records show that he instead attended a lesser known school with the help of scholarships and financial assistance. After graduating with high honors, Isaac enlisted in the Merchant Marine. He quickly gained a reputation for his resourceful engineering solutions and after two years was promoted to a higher profile position closer to the major shipping lanes. Isaac's career stagnates at this point. This would coincide with psychiatric reports that his mother's mental health was deteriorating and bank records show payments to a psychiatric facility for treatment. This seems to be where Isaac met a medical officer and neuropsychiatrist called Nicole Brennan, and her name appears on Octavia's physician roster. The two of them ended up cohabiting until Brennan accepted a promotion and left to serve on the USG Ishimura. Paul's return from his extended tour coincided with Octavia's release from the hospital. Whatever his assignment was, Paul's service records remained mysteriously classified by executive order. And unless he confided in Isaac, he took his secrets to the grave. The next records we have are death notices for both Paul and Octavia. Their bodies were wheeled to the custody of the Church of Unitology, along with the Clark's entire estate, apparently on Octavia's wish. 
Isaac's repeated petition to have his parents' bodies returned seemed to have been ignored. Since the church refuses any inquiries related to its members, their cause of death is unknown. Overall, Isaac's more than qualified to handle a job like the Ishimura. I talk politics over religion, though. I tell ya. That's crazy. Kendra Daniels. I couldn't find anything on her in the time you gave me, but Darleton swears by her. Apparently, she's on a mission with his recommendation. If, the, if, she, if he thinks she has what it takes, who am I to argue? Should have looked more into her. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, so this is a disclaimer. The article is sponsored by CEC's print and publishing division. May not represent the views of Amazing Universe magazine. Imagine a world where basic resources like fuel, ore, metals, and ice are hard to come by. Imagine if humanity needs were entirely dependent on the nearly extinct resources of Earth and dwindling supplies of the colonies. Older readers don't need to imagine such a world. You lived it, less than a century ago. Looking at the stars for additional resources was nothing new. But at the time, the only shock point capable ships were smaller vessels that could barely keep up with demand. Enter the Ishimura. Named after the celebrated astrophysicist and inventor of the shock point drive, Hideki Ishimura, the USG Ishimura, was the first of the massive planet cracker ships. Built in 2446, she, was en she has enjoyed a long and storied career. The Ishimura was the first vessel of her size to utilize the shock point drive for large-scale commercial deep space expedition. At her inception, the Ishimura was hailed as the savior of the colonies. She was created to mine and process asteroids and even small moons with remarkable efficiency. She was also the first ship capable of the pioneering scan and catch technique for harvesting mineral-rich asteroids. Utilizing huge gravity tethers, the Ishimura could lock onto asteroids and pull them inside the ship ship's massive collection base for quick and efficient smelting. At 62 years old, the Ishimura is still in remarkable shape. Her equipment has been upgraded over the years and many of her interior spaces have been retrofitted to take advantage of current technological advances. Despite so many long years of service, she remains the pride of the CEC's fleet and is still the company's largest planet cracker. Whenever a vital deep space mining project requires skill, experience, and dedication, the Ishimura is ready to answer the call. It is ships like the Ishimura and the dedication of the men and women who crew her that built the Consortance Extraction Corporation into the trusted, dependable resource provider it is today. Okay, we've already done that one. We've done that one. Okay, the repair notice. So the USG Ishimura Aerospace Engineering Department Shuttle Repairs Invoice. Faulty 4 Gyro Vessel USG. Replace now functional Mission Day 3 Faulty 40 Scope. Still in repair. Damaged Landing Repulsors. Complete replacement now functional Damage 4 and Left 4 Viewports. Replace now functional. Damage Booster Collar. collar. Repairs now functional and J. Wright, 2nd Engineer, Maintenance Bay. Okay, I think we've done all of these. Poker invitation. Subject, Poker Night. Keeping this off rig link in case Vincent's listening in. You in for poker tonight, or are you going to let C Caitlin keep walking around with your credits? JFW. I'm in, but can, can you not invite Pavey this time? I know he's still blaming himself for Cerro C's accident and everything. But no one wants to hear about anyone's fucking nightmares, especially that one where he saw Sorosi up and walking around with half his head missing. And don't give me shit about it, I'm serious, it's messing with me. Last night I had one of those dreams where you wake up, you know? But my dad was sitting next to my bed, talking to me. It felt so real, I kept seeing him out of the corner of my eye all day, and trust me, that's one son of a bitch who needs to stay dead. And, okay, I think that's it. Good. So we're going to stop here today. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.